first time in art field. I moved here from Houston, Texas um, uh, about 18 months ago, and I was able to attend last year, but wasn't able to participate because you need to be a resident for six months before. And so I was really excited in attending last year that I kind of felt that this venue really uh, was where my art should be. Um, I was excited to be accepted this year and to be accepted into the Jones Carter Gallery. Um, my work is one of the first works that I did moving into Myrtle Beach and moving into my studio on Main Street in downtown. It's called Leap of Faith because when I first moved here and I had my gallery, I ran into some new artist friends and uh, they came in and they saw my work, which is mainly abstract, and they said, well, you're not going to do well here because people don't like abstracts. You need to paint sea turtles. <laughs> that's the way to be successful. And so I was like, no, that's just not who I am. I need to paint what, what's in me. And so I started painting this piece, which is called Leap of Faith. And part of it is a metaphor for me just trusting in my own art and trusting in myself. And for me, it was that feeling of, if you've ever been to corporate retreats where you trust and you fall backwards and you hope that people catch you. Uh, and so that's how this piece uh, developed. And as I would practice that art of falling, but nobody was there to catch me as I was alone, uh, I got the feeling of a diver and being able to how they twist and turn, but they always somehow manage to enter correctly. And so uh, that's the piece. What I love about abstract is it's up to you as the viewer to bring your own personal interpretation, and there is nothing wrong with what you see. I've had people tell me they see a person doing a yoga pose, they see a person here that's um, thinking and that this is their mind, there's somebody that said that they see a giraffe, and so all of those things are, are valid and true. And so it's really a truly an honor to, to be in our field, to share my art with you all. I hope you'll visit my studio in Myrtle Beach at some point. And also, um, it's great to also be uh, on this trip with the Art Museum. It's great that they bring us here to this great venue and uh, be able to do it. So, so how did you get selected and how did you get put in this gallery? Uh, well, process? my understanding is you are, as an artist, uh, submit online one work of art. You pay an entry fee for that. They have a jury panel that goes through all the submissions and they narrow it down to 400 works of art. Then after the 400 works of art are chosen, the different venues that are going to uh, uh, meet, they come together and they do a lottery. And they draw numbers for who gets to pick their art first. I spoke to Hannah, the director of the uh, gallery. She was number 13 this year. And so she was able to, uh, she didn't get first pick, but she, you know, she did get some wonderful pieces um, here in her gallery. And I was thrilled to be in this space. When she gets 13, does she get to pick everything? Or do they go like, they I think they pick everything. Yeah. 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 So at 13, she gets then to fill the gallery, then you fill the gallery. Yes, she gets to pick the pieces that go in there. Okay. The venue, the venue operator goes. Any others? So it's a big drawing. Yes, Where is your studio? It's at 714 Main Street, right downtown, across from the Snowco Station, next to Black Tie Restaurant. Oh. What motivated you to help I moved here for my mom. Uh, she is having some health issues, and I said I can do my art anywhere. How's your studio? My studio. I still have it. I share it with two other artists, um, and um, I haven't been there in over a year. So uh, I have I have about 25 works of art there that are probably collecting dust. <laughs>
I know wasn't affected by the flood. Thank you and enjoy our good luck. Remember to vote for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right.